to the Tube Explore. It's me, Hank Howdy, professional Tube Explorer. Today, I'm exploring the tubes at Chuck E. Cheesy's. Just look at the size of these tubes. They seem to go on forever. Exploring every nook and cranny of these tubes could take all day. They're just gorgeous. I've got an idea. Let's go explore them right now. Come on! Before we go in, remember, I'm a professional tube explorer, but you can have just as much fun and excitement at the tubes and Chuck E. Cheese's in your town. All right, here we go. As you can see, these tubes go around and around the whole place. No one really knows where they start or where they end. But one thing's for sure, they're a whole lot of fun. Whoa! Wow! Did you see that? That slide came out of nowhere. Just goes to show you, there's always a new adventure just around the bend for a professional tube explorer. Hey, look at that. Come on. Look at this, would ya? 
This is what we call a race car. The object of this area of the tubes is to sit in here and drive really, really fast, just like a professional race car driver. Look out! Wow, that was fun. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Well, that's all of our time for today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And until next time, this is Hank Howdy saying, good day. There's the old doorbell. That's the babysitter, kids. Babysitters are boring. Not when it's a WFW babysitter. Let's call it right here. Someone, the only champion babysitter in this house. And I rule. Got it. Cool. They're every kid's dream of fun, action, and total bedtime mania. What else do you kids do for fun? Play dress-up. Boys don't play dress-up. <laughs> now remember, never let the color of your makeup clash with your costume. The kids, kids are going to play, play with the, the WFW, WFW babysitter. babysitter. Here's something to help you grow big and strong like me. A knuckle sandwich. <laughs> First we crush Mr. Kennedy. Then we punch out Mr. Black. Isn't brushing your teeth fun? Yeah! And Golunks grabbed the big wolf, picked him up over his head and spun him around and threw him on the ground and put him in a big headlock till he cried, uncle, 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 all the way home. End of story, now go to bed. But we're not sleeping. Come on, tell us another one, please. please. Go to sleep right now or I'll put my worst move on you. WFW Mason. Every kid's dream of fun, action, and total bedtime mania. Get one at your house today. Ba 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 ba
close attention. Today's recipe will be real handy for all of you who love to take wilderness walks or go hiking. It's a trail mix! Alright then, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you've got all of your ingredients. You'll need raisins, prunes, M&Ms, walnuts, pecans, peanuts, dried apricots, sunflower seeds, dried bananas, oatmeal, salt, pepper, papayas, mangoes, pineapple, peppercorns, and cayenne powder. Alright, once you have all of your ingredients, you're ready to make your trail mix. Your first step is to mix together the sunflower seeds and the fruit. 
But before you mix them all together, make sure you've purchased the sunflower seeds without the shells. It would be silly to mix all those shells together in your trail mix. So now that you have your fruit and sunflower seeds mixed together, you can add everything else to the mix. Oh, but before that, let's hold off on the peppercorns and the cayenne powder. You know, I find that some people are very sensitive to spicy foods. Why, just the other day I had lunch with this friend of mine who absolutely refused to eat the enchilada she'd ordered because they tasted too hot. I told her that enchiladas are inherently a spicy food. Inherently, she asked. What does that mean? Well, I told her it means that being spicy is part of what makes enchiladas enchiladas. Well, she said, I don't like it. Anyways, I digress. Where was I? Oh, yes, the trail mix. What? We're out of time? Oh, well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure you join me next time on Baking with Betty. So if you're ready to bake with Betty, look out, cause here she comes. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike Manley here with outrageous stunt dog, Super Jasper. And today, Super Jasper is going to use his super duper powers to do the impossible. That's right. This will be the ultimate test of Super Jasper's tremendous willpower. Ooh, this is exciting. Super Jasper will be locked inside this cage where there will be no escape. And then we will put into the cage one very monstrous meatloaf dinner with all the trimmings. The question is, can Super Jasper resist the temptation for one full minute, or will he lose control and devour the food? Super Jasper, any words for our audience? Yeah, don't try this at home. Only a professional such as myself should try to resist the temptations of such a delicious home-cooked meal. Let's do it! All right, the timer has started and here comes the food. Look at Super Jasper eyeing up that delicious meatloaf. What a daredevil, he's flirting with danger, tempting himself with a couple of snips. Oh, how can he resist that delicious meatloaf? Mmm, smothered in rich, thick gravy. And how will he resist these wonderful, fluffy mashed potatoes just dripping with butter? Oh, mashed potatoes. And what about these delectable, steaming, hot ears corn. of corn? Oh, man, I love corn. What nerves of steel! Not even this big, jiggly bowl of strawberry jello will cause Super oh. Jasper to give in. Stop, you're torturing me. Yes, Super Jasper is using all his strength to hold out. But can he resist this lip-smacking rich banana cream pie? I can't take it. I can't take it. Yes, Super Jasper only has seconds to go. Will he be able to resist that yummy meal seasoned to absolute heavenly perfection? Oh, the pressure. The pressure. And now the final seconds. Three, two. I can't fight it. I don't one. care. I give up. Oh. Super Jasper, you've done it! You have resisted the temptation. How does it feel to once again do the impossible? And what are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese's. Of course. I knew he was going to say that.
Coca-Cola Pour it in your head If it's a cherry cola You hear what I said I need a Coca-Cola The can is bright red Drinking a Coca-Cola Drinking a Coca-Cola Drinking a Coca-Cola Join Phil as a barrage of late night infomercials do their best to entice the gullible. What can chop 100 onions in 10 seconds? This can! Don't paint by hand. Simply mask off pictures, pull the pin, and let paint bomb do the work. Finally, five great tools come together in the hammer, scissor, flesh, spatula brush. How does this VCR work underwater? It's made entirely out of fish! As a highly trained monkey ninja, his resistance is strong. Call now. Call now. Call now. Call now. Because, because you need this product! but not strong enough. Oh, thank you for calling. Can I take your order, please? <sighs> uh, Phil? Were you up all night watching infomercials? No. Yes. Why did you buy all those useless products? Useless? Carl, I can get rock-hard abs with electric current. <laughs> Restore this tarnished old teapot in seconds. Potato calculator. I'm canceling cable. Industrial dehydrator. Phil, it's not that I don't love turkey jerky or shiny teapots, uh -huh. but I think that tarnish remover is emitting some toxic fumes. What was that? Toxic fume detector. Why is it buzzing? Duh. Hmm. You see if there's a number to call. I'll crack a window. Check. Meanwhile, at the slime creature's lair. This concludes volume 12 of How to Speak English if you are a slime creature. <laughs> I have the perfect plan to get those monkey ninjas. I hired a ninja of great skill. Lightning speed. And he will be here any minute. Come in. No, good vision would cost extra. You'll see, he'll get those monkeys. <laughs> what have I done? 
giggled uh, over here because I'm trying to do this thing. I got to go. Help like, oh, good gravy. Almost said it. Okay. Hello. Mm, toxic fumes? No, nah, it's no good. No, no. Monkey? Okay, top floor. All right, I'll send somebody right over. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Good, you're just in time. The gas is so bad, Phil's delirious. Well, I guess you could start by- Alrighty. Ah! Carl, what's up with the nearsighted ninja? Beats me. He sliced up everything except that giant dehydrator. That gives me an idea. Hey, Ninja! If you leave now, you can have this potato calculator! <gasps> See, Carl, as some people still appreciate vegetable electronic Bill. Ah! <laughs> Carl, can we keep him? Sure. He seems harmless. And so cute! <laughs> Their monkeys in the jungle went to Japan to meet their uncle. Now they run a delivery business fighting crime as monkey ninjas. Monkey ninjas, monkey ninjas. Carl and Phil are monkey ninjas. and so cute. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I think it's going. The light's on. Okay. Okay. Hey, kids. Hey. Um, we're going to sing a song, and we hope that you could join in with us. You think they'll know this one? Oh, they'll know it, because this is common. Old MacDonald, Had a Farm. Great. All right. So we want to hear you sing good hold and loud. Hold on, hold on. What kind of animals are we going to do? Cause okay, we're going to do a cow. Cow. We're going to do a pig. And we're going to do a duck. How does a duck sing? <laughs> Quack. Quack. <laughs> All right. Okay, that... <laughs> Five. Hang on, let's start over. Let's <laughs> just start over. I think that's on. Hey, it's on. Hey, kids, what's up? How's it going? We're gonna do a song, and we want you to sing along with us. You gonna tell me your name? No, I'm not gonna tell you my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, McDonald had a farm. <laughs> you were doing the sound. I know. <laughs> okay, you ready? It's on. All right. Kay. Hey, kids. Hey, Mom. <laughs> oh, McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Oh, McDonald had a farm. About that pig. Oh, McDonald had a pig. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> he did have a pig, Robert, but you're getting ahead of yourself. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's called Old McDonald. And of course, everybody knows Old McDonald about the guy who had a farm. Well, we're going to sing about three animals that were on Old McDonald's farm a cow, moo, a pig, and our sign just fell. All right. Oh, is it on? I think so. I'm not. Real. Hey everybody, um, we're in our basement, and uh, we're, just, <laughs> we're just hanging out. Is it on? Okay, I think it's going. Hey everybody, this is Jeremy. And this is Rob. And we're here, um, just hanging out, and we want to sing a song with you. But uh, we kind of, I'm trying to go on the whole Chucky's not here thing. And he's not. Let's try Because again. this is my basement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome Chuck E. Cheese! Who wants to have fun? With our favorite mouse, because the one who likes to have fun is in the house. You know, this is no silly dreams. If you want to have fun, let me hear you scream! <laughs> The way cause we're dancing All around Turn up the beat DJ hear that sound Keep the hands clap 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 
somebody say yes to that funky groove. No time to waste, we got stuff to do. This all puts me in a funny kind of mood. We're gonna have some fun, yeah, me and you.
He didn't want to stop inside a shell His shell, his mighty fine shell Cause there was something that he wanted And he knew that it was there It's when his body started chanting And it floated on the air Go Humpty, go Humpty Go, go, go Humpty Inside your shell, your shell Your mighty fine shell
today. 